Hey there, welcome to another episode of Hanging Out With Me in My Kitchen Space. In today's episode, let's make some potato and pumpkin curry. And this is an African cuisine. I'm pretty sure you're going to love once you try it out. With me, I have my mm. list of ingredients. And from this corner, I have my veggies. And I have some capsicum, ginger, garlic, some tomato paste, but you can also use tomatoes. I have some coriander stems. I also have my cooking oil. For the list of spices, I have some rico powder, some turmeric, curry powder, and some beef seasoning tube. You can add whichever spice you like and leave out which you do not like. Also, add more of what you like and leave out what you do not like. I also have my coriander stems, some salt. I have my pumpkins that are chopped and washed. I have some baby marrow or some zucchini or some courgette, an onion, some carrots, and potatoes. And without further ado, let's get started. Once my pan is nice and hot, I'll go in with about 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. And once my cooking oil is also hot enough, I'll go in with my onions. I'm going to saute these onions till they start turning translucent. Then I'll be back to adding my next ingredient. Now that this is how I like it, I'll add in my ginger. Then I'm going to cook that for about a minute till the ginger is fragrant. Now that the ginger is fragrant, I'll add in my tomato paste. Then I'm also going to add in my coriander stems. And this is looking amazing. <clears throat> I'll go in with my capsicum, as well as my garlic. And we are making the base of our curry. Then, at this point, I'm also going to add in my turmeric. Because it takes a little bit longer to cook than the other spices. I'm going to add some little bit of water. And that is mainly to loosen the tomato paste and so that it can cook a little bit faster. And this process is very important because uh, it, it helps in developing flavor for the curry. So I'll give this about a minute, then I'll be back. At this point, I'm going to go in with this. I've added in my pumpkins first because the potatoes that I'm using uh, cook very fast. So I'm going to give this a head start and I'm going to cook them for about 3-4 minutes thereabout before I can go in with my potatoes. I'll cover this. A couple of minutes later, I'm back to adding my potatoes. 
I'll start off by adding my baby marrow, then my carrots. Then I'll go in with my potatoes. And I'm going to mix this. That looks beautiful so I'm going to go in with my seasonings then I'm also going to add some salt Then here comes my favorite part. So this is African. You can add in as much soup as you like. Then I'll give this a couple of minutes and once it starts boiling, I'll be back to taste if the seasoning is right and if at all I need to adjust, especially on the salt. So this has been going on for a couple of minutes and I'm here to test if everything is okay. So using a clean spoon, I'm going to make an incision to the potatoes and you can see they are well done. I'm also going to use a clean spoon to test for the seasoning. Wow, and everything is just perfect. So it's at this point, we are going to come in with a Rico powder. I mixed it with some water and we are going to add it right there. Then I'm going to give this about a minute so that the Rico powder can be well cooked. Then I'll be back to garnish it and we are basically done. So this is just how I like it and I'll switch that off and the beauty about these African cuisines is that uh, if any dish contains some potatoes the longer you let it sit the thicker it becomes so do not worry about this I'm going to give this about five minutes so that the potatoes can soak in because uh, when you cut through this potato you can see that it is very white in color meaning there is no much flavor that has penetrated into the potato. Just have a look at this. 
yeah you can see that the center is very dry so i always advise to let it sit for a couple of minutes so that the gravy can enter into the potatoes and this can also thicken up so that you cannot be eating some blunt potatoes i'm going to garnish this with some coriander leaves Then also remember the amount of soup is directly proportional to the amount of servings. So I'm going to cover this and I'll see you in about five or so minutes. So I almost forgot that I had some greens. Mm. 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 This is such a rich recipe. Delicious, very healthy, rich in nutrients. This is such a legit recipe, I can't stop having this. I hope you give this a try and I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.